Hello guys, good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon. Good afternoon teacher. Welcome, how are you? Fine, Fine teacher. teacher, are you? Okay, well, everything is good. Thank you, thank you for asking. All right, it's almost time to start. It will be in a few seconds, almost one o'clock. Thank you for joining. Uh, listen, I will pass it in first. Tell me up, and as soon as you listen to your names, you can say present or here, yeah, right? Here we go. Alan? Present. Alexander? Uh, Sylvia? Carolina? Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia Elizabeth? Present teacher. Thanks. Claudia Elizabeth? Carlos? Talia? Talia? Dora? Enrique? Hi, teacher. Good. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Hazel? Present. Thank you. Permits? Present. Present. All right. Joanna? Hello? Jose Mario? Kenya? Present. Good, lady? Present, teacher. Present. Thank you. Teacher, present. Thank you, thank you, Jose. Yeah, yeah. Pretty good. Triana? Present. Present, okay. teacher. Thank you. Marina? Marina? Ricardo? Sandra? I'm here, teacher. All right. Sarai? Present, teacher. Thank you. Soraya? Present teacher. Good. Stephanie? Vanessa? Present teacher. Okay. Present teacher. Good. Susana? I'm here, teacher. All right. Tatiana? Present teacher. Thank you. Leonel? Laura? Present. Thank you. Alba? Eric? Present. Oh, yeah, thank you. Leonel? Alba? Eric? Yeah. Thank you. Michelle? Okay. And Edgar? Okay, I can't mention all. Eh, Michelle teacher. se está conectando ahorita, así que. Oh, sí, okay. Thank you, thank you. Teacher, Dalia, I'm here. here. Thank you. Yeah, Dalia. Thank you. No worries. Good afternoon, Hello. teacher. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks, teacher. Okay. Thank you for joining. Um, I can I can see Eric. Hello, Eric. Good afternoon. Present, teacher. Good afternoon. Thank you. Good. Somebody else? Who else? Who else? Maybe I'll give you maybe some. Please. Okay, well, everybody, thank you for joining. It's nice meeting you. This is class number 14. We're about to finish. We're missing just three more classes for, for this module. Okay, this is class number 14. And we'll miss just two more classes next week, right? Um, well, what, what do we have for today? Let me display the presentation.
Okay. This is the topic for today, present continuous. Okay. And today is Thursday, August 12th, right? Very good, class number 14. Before to continue, I just want to point out some things about what I said before, right? Uh, with the re registration process, etc., all the documents that you have to send. Eh, no olvidemos, repito nuevamente, eh, por la información que se ha estado compartiendo, ¿verdad? Eh, con respecto a la recepción de documentos, no se nos olvide que se tenemos hasta ese día. Eh, bueno, algunos me, me comentaban, ¿verdad?, que ya lo habían enviado, pero que no han tenido respuesta. Eh, repito, esperemos, esperemos porque vamos a tener una respuesta. Si no tenemos respuesta en esos días, ¿verdad?, yo sé que la preocupación está, ¿verdad? Porque no se sabe si han recibido o no sus documentos. Les recomiendo que escribamos a, a algún asesor, a algún caso, a alguien de soporte, a alguien de administración, que en el inglés operativo en ese caso. ¿Okay? Les comentaba ayer que los contactos de, de, de ellos están eh, incluidos en el grupo WhatsApp también. Es que los pueden contactar desde ahí. Eh, ustedes me podrán decir, pero no, no, no son los nombres, no sabemos quiénes son. Si ustedes entran a, la, a, ese, a esa opción, cuando son los participantes en el grupo de WhatsApp, ahí están las imágenes. Ellos tienen, están identificados, tienen eh, imágenes en su perfil, eh, aparecen sus nombres. Así es que así se les va a ser más fácil. Por si no hemos recibido un correo de confirmación o mensaje de confirmación, eh, esperemos ese día, si no porque pues recomiendo que ustedes eh, consulten. Eso sí, eh, presentémonos en ese caso o, o seamos un poco específicos y digamos, si escribimos a, a esos contactos, eh, pongan su nombre completo y al módulo o nivel que pertenecen para, para que ellos estén, puedan buscarlos y bueno, en ese caso les pueden contestar. Y José Mario, no sé si tenía una pregunta. Um, no, teacher, nada. Ok, ok. Bueno, eh, repito, ese día tenemos, es el último día para la recepción de documentos, si no lo hemos enviado, eh, hagámoslo lo pronto posible. El contacto que se les compartió, ahí enviémoslo y para que todo esté en orden, ¿verdad? Eh, cualquier teacher. cosa, me comentan. Ya, yeah, dígame. Este, en la próxima semana termina la, la clase. Sí, el, el martes, para ser específico. El martes 17 de agosto terminamos el módulo, sería la clase 16. Y a partir de ahí vamos a esperar, porque en el mensaje que se envió, se envió ayer, ahí estaba detallado también eso de que la fecha para el próximo módulo es tentativa. Es decir, no hay una fecha todavía estipulada, ¿verdad? Para, para, el los no se, para los que no se han escrito, ya no se puede. Todavía lo puede hacer. Ese día es la, la, la fecha límite para enviar la, los documentos. Todavía se puede. Y, y ya no hay problema. Si, te, o sea, si ya no me escribo, no hay ningún problema después. Que no se inscribe. Ajá. Y creería yo que no, como ya está en la base de datos, se pues decide hacer una pausa y está bien. Este, sí, de, 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 voy a hacer una pausa porque me escribí en otro curso de que dice. Oh, ok, entiendo. Siempre dice siempre favor, pero entonces será presencial y ya vengo muy tarde. Mm. Acá se ya no alcanzo la clase. Sí, sí. Ok, bueno, en este caso, pues sabrá, ¿verdad? Sabrá y, y pues yo creería que no. Ya se la pausa y ustedes si deciden luego, no sé, reanudar. Eh, puede consultar, ¿verdad? Puede consultar en ese okay. caso a alguna autoridad de inglés operativo para que le ayude mejor con eso. Ok. Ok, uh, no sé si alguien más tiene preguntas, comentarios, alguna duda. Sí, Chef, solo comentarle que me acabo de conectar, no sé si ya pasó lista. 
que digamos, Dora Alicia. Oh, Dora, ya. Yeah. Sí, ya pasé, pero no se preocupe, ahorita la incluyo. Uh, hey, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Good afternoon, by the way. Thank you for joining. En el caso de Michelle, también te la incluí. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Hello, good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay. Perfect. We're going to start with the class, guys. No sé si hay más preguntas, dudas, con respecto a la plataforma. Oh, por cierto, voy a hacer eso ahorita. Para los que no hemos hecho todavía el examen final, recuerden que ese día, eh, bueno, se les va a explicar y ustedes pues deben de hacerlo el próximo lunes. Si lo deciden hacer antes, perfecto. Recuerden, ustedes ingresan a la, a la plataforma. De preferencia acá, ¿verdad? Para que se les haga más fácil. Está en la última sección. Lo último, la, el último apartado es el examen final. Para el exam, ingresamos, damos clic. Y ese examen contiene, si no me equivoco, cuatro partes. Sí, cuatro partes. Y la primera es con respecto al listening. Listening. Uh, instructions. You have to listen to the conversation and select the correct answer. Debemos escuchar la conversación y, y seleccionar la respuesta correcta. Seamos cuidadosos, leamos las instrucciones primero, les recomiendo que cuando hagamos cualquier tipo de actividad, leamos siempre las instrucciones. Acá tenemos el audio y tenemos los ejercicios. Recuerden siempre que darle enviar, ¿verdad? como ustedes saben. Next, complete the conversations. Instructions complete the sentences with do, does, or would. Completar las oraciones con do, does, or would. Acá completar las oraciones o preguntas en este caso con base en lo que se les, se les pide, ¿verdad? Do, does, or would. En ese caso solo vamos a utilizar eso, ¿verdad? No es necesario escribir toda la pregunta porque ya está establecido, ¿verdad? Los, dos partes. Completamos y vamos a enviar. La parte C, multiple choice. Instructions, choose the correct word. Es la, la palabra correcta. Acá es decir múltiples. Y vamos a ir seleccionando lo, seleccionando lo que consideremos. Completamos y vamos a enviar. Siguiente parte, eh, reading. Instructions for the article, then check the correct answers. Vamos a leer el artículo y vamos a eh, marcar las respuestas correctas. Veamos cuidadosamente. Luego vámonos con los ejercicios y vamos a seleccionar, ¿verdad? Opción múltiple. La respuesta que ustedes consideren correcta. Enviar. Y pues básicamente eso sería todo. El examen final. Eh, lo explico ese día. Recuerden que lo debemos hacer el próximo miércoles. Este debe estar todo completo con, con la plataforma. Eh, si hemos avanzado y ya estamos por terminar, eh, pues hagámoslo directamente para ya completar todo. Si hay preguntas. No, teacher. No, okay. teacher. No question. Good. All right. We will begin with the class. Uh, the topic for today is present continuous, or we call it like present progressive. Present progressive. So we can say present continuous or present progressive. It's the same. Okay. When do we use the present continuous? We use it to talk about actions that are happening at the moment. Listen, this is one of the uses. We're going to focus on this use today. Ese es uno de los usos. Okay. Vamos a enfocarnos solamente en ese uso ese día. Eh, Por supuesto, tiene otros usos. Pero ahorita ese es el enfoque, ¿verdad? Ese es el, el uso que vamos a, a tener acá en clase. Again, present continuous is used to talk about actions that are happening at the moment. Or right now. For example, I am explaining the topic or the present continuous. 
now. So this is an action happening right now. Okay, this is the way we use it. I am explaining the present continuous now. I am talking to, right? I am talking to you. I am talking to, for the class. I am speaking for the class, okay? I can say uh, you are paying attention. You are paying attention. Uh, probably some of you, some of you are taking notes, taking notes in your notes, right? Taking notes. Those are actions that are happening at the moment, now, or right now, okay? That's the present progressive, but the present continues. Let me show you the way we formulate the forms, in this case, affirmative, negative, and we have the questions. This is the way we form uh, the sentences and the questions. First, we have the affirmative form. With the affirmative form, we, we use a subject. We use the verb be. What is the verb be, guys? Um, um, exactly, very good. Subject plus the verb be. The verb be, as you said, is am um, or is. Then we have a verb. We have a second verb, let's say. And this verb, it is not in base form. It is in ing form. And at the end, we have the complement. That's the way. That's the way we structure the present continuous. And we can say, he is playing. He is playing. Or again, because we're talking about the actions that are happening now, right? So I can say, I am speaking. I am speaking now. So we analyze the, the sentence. We can identify the subject. This is the verb be. The verb in ing form, and this is a complement. And this is an action in progress. It is happening right now. Okay. Another example again, you are paying attention in class. Teacher, I have a question. Yeah, tell me. El verbo ing solo se ocupa para lo que se está haciendo en el momento, ¿verdad? Para decir, yo estoy yes. estudiando, yo estoy jugando. Yes. Pero es, yo me había confundido, pensaba que también se ocupaba para, para futuro, por I'm going to, I'm gonna. Oh, but that is different. When you say, uh, when you say I'm going to, that is be going to. Mm -hmm. And you say, I am going to, and you accompany this with a second verb, or the verb, this case is the main verb, sorry. The, the verb is in base form. So you say, Pero, I am going to play or I'm going, I'm going to pay attention in class, for example. I'm sorry. Pero eso, eso sí es para, para futuro, ¿verdad? Ah, para ocupar yes. el coin. Yes, yeah. exactly. Be going to, this is for, this is future simple. Yeah, thank yeah. you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, let's continue because I don't want you to get confused. And remember this, we will see this soon, okay? Vamos a ver eso después. Quiero que se confunda. Pero, vale la aclaración, ¿verdad? Vale la aclaración. Eso lo vamos a ver más adelante. Paso a paso, okay? Vamos paso a paso. Um, well, you are paying attention in class. Okay, that is something that you're doing now, right? You're doing that. I mean, you are paying attention in class. Okay? So I can say, and this is for real, okay? This is for real. My mother is cooking lunch. We're making lunch uh, right now because I can feel the smell, right? My mother is cooking lunch right now.
So that is the, the subject, the verb be, the very nice before, and the complement. Probably that's an action that is happening now, right? You can feel the smell, and you can say, well, my mother is cooking lunch right now. Okay. Very good. This is affirmative. Questions here? Any questions here? No, teacher. No, teacher, okay. no question. Perfect. Let's go with the negative form. So the negative form is similar. So what we do is this, that so we include not. We use not after the verb be. And that uh, converts into a negative way, right? That is a negative way. For example, we use not after the verb be. Subject verb be not plus the verb in 94. Finally, we have a complement. So now let's talk about real things, right? Real things. Listen, I'm going to use your names, and these are real examples, right? I will say, um, Enrique is not playing video games now. I know that Enrique is, you know, paying attention in class. He is listening to the class, right? Okay, this is negative. Right? Also, I can say, in my case, I am not, I am not eating lunch at the moment. This is not happening. I mean, I am here, I am delivering the class. I am not eating lunch. Okay. I am not eating lunch at the moment. I can say, um, let me see. Jose Katiana is not watching TV right now. Okay. Katiana is not watching TV right now. Okay. Of course, we can use contractions over here with a negative way, with a negative form, and with the affirmative too. For example, if you say, I'm not equals, I am not. These are contractions. I'm not, I'm not playing video games. I'm not uh, eating lunch. If you say, for example, he isn't, he isn't equals he is not. You say they aren't, they aren't equals they are not. And we can continue. So this is for negative. We can use this, the contractions, okay? With the affirmative is simple. So you can say just am, and we know that it is equals I am. You can say he is equals he is. You can say she is equals she is. So we are, and this is we are. Those are for affirmative. Questions? Let me know if you have questions, please. Okay, so far so good? I want this is again. Not the chair. Not the chair. Okay. Not the chair. Good. This is, oh, these are the forms, the first forms, affirmative and negative. Remember? Those are actions that are happening at the moment, at the moment. 
Let's go with the last four, and that is questions. With questions, we, we know that we had two forms, right? Uh, first, we had just no questions. Just no questions. And we can say, we use first, the verb be, plus subject, plus verb in ing form, plus a complement, and the question mark. So now you can say, are you playing soccer now? What's the way you answer? Well, first analyze. This is a verb B. This is a subject. The verb, the verb in ing form. And this is a complement with a question mark. What is the way you can answer? Remember that when we have just no questions, we get short answers. However, we can get long answers too. But most of the times we get short answers. So you can say, yes, I am. Or you can say, no, I'm not. Okay, this is for questions. Are you playing soccer now? Are you watching a movie now? Are you paying attention in class right now? Et cetera, et cetera. So we can vary the questions. For example, let me see. Um, Alexander, are you are you playing soccer now? No, I'm not teacher. Okay, no, you're not. Claudia Elizabeth, are you let me see? Are you watching TV now? Claudia Elizabeth, are you watching TV right now? Can you hear me? Let's switch up. I guess she's having some issues. Hey, Dora, are you watching TV right now? No, I'm not, teacher. No, you're not. Okay. Thank you. Leonel, are you paying attention in class? Yes, I am. Okay, for sure? Yeah. Okay, good. Sure. Okay. Excellent. Let me see. Hey, Hazel, are you taking notes? Yes, I am. Okay, perfect. Well, that's the way. That's the way we ask questions, right? Just no questions. In some cases, we can get long answers. For example, if I ask you, are you playing soccer now? You can say, yes, I am. And you can add more information. Those are long answers. Probably sure. you can say, yeah, tell me. Excuse me, uh, este se frizó la pantalla. Oh, really? Yeah. Can you see it now? Is everything okay? Yeah. Bien ahorita? Ahorita sí, yeah. Pero por eso no podía contestar porque frizado solo se oía y no me dejaba activar el micrófono. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Well, my question was, are you watching TV right now, Claudia? Uh, no, I am not watching okay. TV. Excellent. Very good. Yeah, that's what I said. You know, that, that was that was trying to, that was what I was trying to, to say, right? Sorry. Uh, you can get long answers. If someone asks you, like, are you playing soccer now? You can say, yes, I am. But if you want to include more information, you can do it. You can say... I am playing with my friends. So it can be. That is additional information. This is information additional. Podemos obtener las fuerzas largas. But if you say, no, I'm not, you can say, I am listening to the class, for example. In this context, right? In this context. Because you're not playing soccer. You are listening to the class. Okay. So that can be the way you can answer if you get no answers. Let me give you another example. We can say, Is your mother um, watching a movie 
at the moment. So we can answer, yes, she is. No, she isn't. Okay. So now I'm changing the question. I'm asking you for another, I'll say, um, individual, right? So I'm asking you about your mother, family member. Is your mother, is she watching a movie at the moment? Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Okay. If I select some volunteers, let me see. Um, Laura, is your mother watching TV, watching a movie at the moment? No, she isn't. No, she isn't. Good. Other participant. Enrique, are you? Is your mother watching a movie at the moment? No, she isn't. No, she isn't, good. Okay. Well, that's just no question. Those are just no questions, sorry. Of course, we have WH questions. WH questions, we know that it's the same, but what we do is just change. It's something simple. We use the same structure, but we include a WH word at the beginning. And we keep the same form. Then we use a, the verb be, the subject, the verb 94, and we have the complement at the end. So now I can ask you, if I ask you, what are you doing now? What can you tell me? I am, what are you doing now? Sandra? Excuse me, teacher. Repeat, please. Question. Yeah, my question was, what are you doing now? No worries, no worries, no worries. For example, in my case, if you ask me the question, can you ask me the question, Sandra? Ask me the question, hágame la pregunta. Ten el micrófono apagado, creo que no sé. Yeah. Yes, teacher, es que se me olvidaron mis audífonos. Tengo oh, I see. Con... No worries. <laughs> no escucho bien. Okay. Eh... Ask, me, ask me the question, no worry, no worries. Ah, eh... What are you eh, doing? No, lo estoy viendo usted en este momento, ¿cómo sería? Uh, oh, okay, okay. You can say, I am seeing you. I see, okay, teacher. I am seeing you. Yeah, because you told me, all right? I'm seeing you, okay? Yeah, pretty good. It can be like, in my case, I am writing an example, an example, now that's what i'm doing now right because the action is happening at the moment so okay it's very good see okay. kenya what are you doing now i'm waiting waiting in my notebook okay I will say Kenya is writing in her notebook. Good. Excellent. Thank you. Um, yes. También, yes. Cuando usted me preguntó, le podía contestar, I am listening to you. No. Yeah. Correcto, yes, ¿no? yes, yes. Of course it is. Okay. Very good. Sandra is listening to to the facilitator or to the class, you can say. It's okay. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Podría ser, I am in English class. Y yes, the idea is good, but you can say, Carolina, I am taking, I am taking an English class because you, you need a verb. You need, a, you need a verb, Carolina. Take in this case. Yeah. 
Okay, thank you. Very good. Thank you. Teacher, for yes, answer, I, uh, I am learning English today. Yeah, I am learning English. Today, you can say uh, right now, at the moment, etc. Yes, it is valid. It is valid. Thank you, Dara. Susana, what are you doing now? Uh, puede ser, I am watching to the computer because yes. I listen to the teacher. Yes, I am watching, you can say through, through, through. my computer and listening to the teacher. Okay. I am eating my snack. I'm sorry, David. Adam? I am eating my snack. Yeah. Why not? I am eating uh, some snacks. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, too. Uh, lady, what are you doing now? I am watching the class. Okay. Lady is watching um the class okay very good if you want to be more specific lady you can say i am watching the the english class the english class or you can say the the presentation etc yeah very good thank you lady. yes uh, i can i can Say, I'm meeting in a video conference. I'm sorry? I'm meeting in a video conference. Yes. In a video conference, yes. You can say it. You can say that. Very good. Okay, that's the way we ask questions. WH questions. Of course, we have different ways. As you know, we have different WH words. For example, where is your father going? Now, let's say at the moment. So imagine that my father is going out, right? He's going out. So I can say my father is going to the supermarket now. Supermarket now. Okay, where? Where is for a place, right? Yes, Liliana, that's a good example. Just one thing, Liliana, you have to use ing with the verb take. Liliana is taking care of her children right now. So this is the way, Liliana, I am taking care of my children right now. So you have to use ing, Liliana. But that is a nice example. Thank you. Okay. Teacher, ¿cómo puedo decir yes. salí, salí corriendo a cerrar las ventanas porque está lloviendo en inglés? Oh, okay. <laughs> eh, you can say like, but in this case, in that case, it's in past. En ese caso ya sería pasado. Salí corriendo, como se me dijo. Imaginemos que esa, esa, esa acción está ocurriendo ahorita. ¿verdad? Usted acaba de irse a cerrar la ventana, ¿verdad? I'm running. You can say, I, I am going... Uh, I am going ahead through the windows. No, I will say another way. Uh, I am running yes. directly through the windows. What does mean through, teacher? Like a través, so in this case, I would say like Asia, I would say towards, sorry. Towards. That is the Asia. correct word, towards, Asia, yes, Asia. Uh -huh. We can we can omit directly, sorry. I am running towards the windows and closing them. You can say in that way, Sandra. I am running towards the windows and closing them. Okay. 
Very good. Well, uh, of course, we have more questions, guys. W is questions. We can just when, for example. Right? We can say, when are you uh, doing your homework? When are you doing your homework? Of course, when we use when, it's because you have a time, right? When are you doing your homework? You can say, I am doing my homework now. Now. But at the moment, that's the way. Okay. Any interrogations, guys? Doubts? Something that is not clear? Please let me know. Algo que no se claro? Preguntas? Dudas? It's a clear picture. Uh, of course, we use uh, the verse. You know that we had the verse in the base form. And we need to form the, the verse in ING because we use them like this in the present continuous. For example, we have go, we have play, study, visit, do, uh, watch. Watch, um, etc. Right? We have more, and we use ing at the end of the words. We say going. We say playing. We say studying, visiting, doing, watch, watching. Sorry, and we can continue run. We say running and we use double N. Why? Because we have this rule, consonant and vowel consonant. Okay, run, consonant, vowel, consonant. Lesamos doble, 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 duplicamos la letra, la última letra que es N, por esa regla, consonant, vowel, consonant. So that's why we say running. Visit. I'm sorry? In the case of the visit, no es doble uh, T. No, because when you have oh. consonant, vowel, consonant, it's because you have a one syllable. One oh. syllable in the in the verb. In the verb. Mm -hmm. Tenemos solo una sílaba. En ese caso son dos sílabas. B, B and C. Visit. Oh, no aplica. You. You're welcome. Another one is plan. So we say plan it. We can continue. We can continue. Stop. I'm sorry? Stop. Stop, yes. Absolutely. So we say stopping. Stopping. Yeah. Okay. And also, something that you have to have in mind is the time expressions where the present continues. The common time expressions are. Now, at the moment, right now, we can use today. Um, we can use some expressions like listen. Listen. Also, look. Currently, etc. Those are some expressions for a present continuous, and they are clue words, keywords. Estas son palabras claves para el present continuous. Okay. Let me give, yes, yes. Uh, sorry, uh, I have a question. Sometimes I can use ing in other tense. For example, I can say, uh, I was waiting for you. Uh, in the past, I use I am using ing too. Yes, I was exactly. waiting. Uh, uh, exactly. That is not now, but I can use with was. You can, you can, and that is past continuous. That okay. is a different and, tense. And in you the future can. too. In the future too. Yeah, in the future too. The future ah, okay. too. Yes, that is future continuous. 
Ah, ok, thank you. Yes, these are different tenses. You're welcome. Estos son diferentes eh, tiempos verbales. Ese es el pasado continuo. Lo que estamos viendo ahorita es el presente continuo. Ok. ¿Se puede utilizar? Sí. Siempre se utiliza el ING. Y lo que cambia es el verbo to be. O es was. Es pasado. Eso lo vamos a ir viendo poco a poco. Okay. It's other tense. I'm sorry? Yeah, it's a different tense. It's a different tense. Remember that we have different tenses. Tenses. Teacher, ahí sí se podría usar el ejemplo que decía Sandra, ¿verdad? Again? What was the example? Sorry. Eh, el oh, yeah. De yeah. Was running. Yeah, I was running uh, towards the windows, windows and oh, I closed them. Uh -huh, I see. Yeah. yeah, the way he told me, yes. La forma que la, en la que me lo dijo, sí. Porque me lo dijo, eh, bueno, me lo dijo en, en pasado simple, salí corriendo. En mm. ese caso, eh, es diferente, ¿verdad? Es pasado. Pero yo... But you can say, I was running towards the windows and, and closed it. Okay. Now we'll change it. I will say because I wanted to, to close it. But sí, ese caso ya es pasado, ¿verdad? Por la forma como me lo dijo eh, Sandra. Pero hacía la aclaración, ¿verdad? O sea, imaginémonos qué está pasando ahorita. Ese es, la, la, ese es el uso del presente también. Okay. okay. Moving on. Let me give you more examples. Well, as you can see here, we have some illustrations with the present continuous, the present progressive. Eh, well, we were discussing the structures, and here we have some examples. Look at the images. And as you can see, those things are happening, are happening at the moment. We can see birds. The birds are flying high. The birds are flying high. They are eating lunch now. Well, we cannot see a picture of that, but imagine that we can see uh, some people that are eating lunch now. And the other one is the kids. We have three, three children aren't playing in the park. So those actions are happening at the moment. Okay, because we can see the pictures. All right. Let me give you more examples. Look at the images. Let's go here first. Look at the boy. What is he doing? What is the boy doing? He is Swimming, he's swimming. He is not sleeping. He is not sleeping. Okay, we can see, we can see the boy, and we can identify or recognize that he is swimming. He is not sleeping. Now let's go with the girl. What is she doing? What is she doing? She is dancing. She is dancing. He is not reading. He's not reading a book. In the last one, we have three people, three children. Or we can say, what are they doing? They are running. They are running. They are not eating. They are not eating pizza. They are not eating uh, hamburgers, etc. They are running in the park. Okay. That's a way, again, we use present continuous. Present continuous for actions that are happening right now. Okay. Well, guys, questions so far? So far, so good? No question, teacher. Thank you. No question, teacher. No question for the moment, no. Okay, yeah, sure, Jose Mario. Yeah, Mario is asking me to go back to the previous slide. I think you're taking descriptions, right? You can take a screenshot of photos. Thank you, Cherry. Yeah, yeah. 
No worries. Okay, listen, let's practice. Let's practice. I'm gonna show you an image. Okay, look at the photo. Look at the following photo. And pay attention to the question. What are they doing? As you can see in the picture, we have a lot of people. They are in a party, right? They're in a party and they are doing many things. We have many actions in here. We have Jason, Claire, Tom, Danny, Sam, Lucy, Helen, Dave, Judy, Eve. They are doing different actions and those actions are happening at the moment. Okay, imagine that we are in the party, right? And we have our friends, Dave, Claire, Tom, Danny, Helen, Lucy, etc. What do you have to do? Are you to tell me what are they doing? Listen to the following instruction. Write at least five sentences about things people are doing at the moment. Please, in your notebooks, write five sentences about things or actions that are happening at the moment or things people are doing now, okay, in the picture. For example, Tom is singing a song. This is Tom. This is Tom. Tom is singing a song. Lucy, let's, say, let's identify or let's look at Lucy. This is Lucy. Lucy isn't eating pizza, okay? So that is a second example. What I want you to do, please follow the examples and I need you to construct at least five sentences about things people are doing at the moment. You can use affirmative or you can use negative, okay? I will give you some time. In your notebooks, please write your sentences. Go ahead. Let me know if you have any questions. Se la vamos a escribir o se la vamos a dictar? Yeah, in your notebook, please. Okay. Write your notebook. Okay. Okay. Yes. En su cuaderno, escribamos las oraciones ahorita. Veamos la imagen y con base en la imagen, según las acciones que están ocurriendo, en el momento, vamos a escribir. Use affirmative and negative, please. Le hacemos afirmativo y negativo. All the examples. As soon as you finish, please let me know. Finish, teacher. Good. Okay, uh, who wants to help me? Who wants to help me with some examples? What are they doing? 
volunteer. Katiana, please. Yeah, help us. Thank you. Um, Dave is dancing with Jody. One more? One more? Another example? Uh, Sam is drinking a soda. Okay. Drinking soda. Drinking soda. Drinking soda. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, too. Anybody else? We teacher. Adam, yes. And then Susana, Helen and you. you are Helen and you are eating pizza. Yeah. Another example, one more. Lucy is dancing in the party. Okay, repeat again. Lucy is dancing in the party. Okay. Thank you. Dora, Susana. Yo uh, puse Lucy is dancing right now. Yes. Uh, Sam is drinking soda. Yeah. Y Helen and Eva eating pizza. Are eating pizza. Okay. Helen and Eve are eating pizza. Are, okay. Yes. Perfect. Thank you, Susana. Soraya. Uh, yo Dave is dancing now. Sam and Danny are talking in the party. Okay. Yeah, just with the first one, Soraya, you say they're, they're, they is, but we have to use they aren't. They are dancing. Oh. Okay. Yeah, be careful. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Very good. All right. Somebody else? Teacher, Claire, Claire is talking with Jason. Yeah, talking to Jason. Talking to Jason. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I will ask you some questions. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Tell me, tell me. Diga, man. And sitting, they are dancing. Está bien formulada. Repeat again. Me escucho. Repeat otra vez, please. One more time, Sandra. Repeat otra vez. Okay, teacher. Please. Uh, Eve is eating pizza. Yeah, Eve, Eve. is eating pizza. Eve. Eve. Yeah. Uh -huh. Eve, ajá. Uh -huh. Eve is eating pizza. Is, is eating pizza. Uh, y, y también está viendo a ellos bailar, pero sería en... They are dancing, así. They are dancing. They are dancing. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Teacher, Thank you, Sandra. Teacher, they oh, yeah. is raising. They is raising his hand. Oh yeah, yeah, good. But remember, Dora, they are. They are raising their hands. Yeah, they are okay. raising okay. their hands. You're welcome. Take it too. Eric? Yes, teacher. Uh, Sam talking about something with Danny. One more? Sam talking about something with Danny. Oh, okay. Sam is talking. Sam is talking, Sam, Sam is talking about something uh, with Claire. I'm sorry, with Danny. Yes. Yes. Pretty yes. Good. Pretty good. Thank you, Eric, for example. Um let me see. Let me ask you some questions. A few questions. Uh, listen, these are just no questions. Um are Helen and Eve eating hamburgers? No. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. No. Yes. No. Yeah, because I, I, I said to people, remember? Are Helen and Eve eating pigs, eating hamburgers? Sorry, hamburgers. Hamburgers. 
for this one. Oh, yeah. Okay, and you say, yeah, no, they aren't. But no, they're not, as I said, because we had two people. Uh, yeah, Kenya, it's okay. That's a good example. Jason is laughing. Yeah. Thank you, Kenya. Uh, while is mientras, verdad? While, yes, while is mientras. Y, y puedo unir la oración. Uh, Sam is talking while Sam drink, Trang is drinking soda. Okay, Sam is talking while Sam Sam is talking with Danny while Sam is drinking soda. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah, you can say Sam is talking with while uh, no with uh, Steve no second. We say two, we tend to say two. He's talking to Danny. Oh, Danny. While you can say they are drinking because they, they two are drinking. Well, they are drinking a soda. Sam in, is talking to Danny while they are drinking soda. If, Give me a second. If, hey, got it. Then Erin Pizza, she is talking to Helen. Okay, very good. Repeat again the last one, Claudia. Eh, si puedo hacer esa unión, verdad? Con el while. Yes, yes, you can. You can. Sam mm -hmm. is talking to Danny while they're eh, drinking soda. These are called parallel actions. Parallel actions because uh, they are happening. I mean, two people are doing different activities at the same moment. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Very good, thank you for asking. Thank you, thank you Claudia, for your examples. Claudia is hit. Very good job. Okay, listen, because of the time, we're going to move on to the following activity and I'm going to assign you this as a homework. This will be an extra homework for you in practice. I have some exercises for you with the present continuous. What I want you to do is simple. I need you to look at the exercises given or provided, and I need you to complete them with the correct form of the present continuous. Please pay attention to these examples, to these sentences, because you need to complete them with the correct form of the present continuous. The first two exercises are given as examples. We need to follow them it will need to construct or continue with the other ones, okay? You have to pay attention because we have affirmative, negative, and questions here. In the verbs are in parentheses. Talk, here we have you asleep because we have the subject and the verb, that is a question. You have to use the subject and the verb, okay? Tenemos los verbos en parentheses, tenemos en algunas ocasiones dos palabras. El sujeto y tenemos un verbo. Cuando tengamos eso, debemos construir una pregunta. My son, for example, number one, the verb is talk. My son is talking on the phone right now. Second, are you sleeping? That is a question. Are you sleeping? You have to use the subject and the verb. And you need to include the verb three, of course. And then we have number three, Jason. And the verb is due, you have to do this on your own. This will be an extra practice. Uh, Tom, the verb is work, play, wait. Number seven, we had not cook. So this is negative way. Uh, number seven, algunas ocasiones tenemos afirmativo, negativo y preguntas. Number so seven cool. is negativo. Yes. Y, y la siete sí. sucesivamente, ¿verdad? Number eight, number nine, those are questions. Okay, this will be an extra practice for you, an extra homework. What I want to do, I need you to take a screenshot, take a screenshot and you're going to work on your own as soon as we finish, right? This will be an extra practice. Tomamos una foto, una captura, esa va a ser una práctica para ustedes, práctica extra, o tarea extra, para que ustedes practiquen. 
on present continuous. Okay. Any questions, guys? No. no, teacher, no question. Okay. Todos tomamos la lectura, tomamos la foto, los ejercicios. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Well, guys, eh, we're going to start right here. This is the way we use present continuous. Um, well, I just want to remind you about this because I received an information eh, some minutes ago. Solo quiero compartir lo siguiente. Recibí bueno, un par de, de mensajes en ese momento en el grupo de, de WhatsApp. En este caso, eh, tenemos los facilitadores. Se nos hacía mención acerca de la plataforma, ¿verdad? Eh, se nos pide que les, les recordemos y les invitemos a que la plataforma a que la completen, ¿verdad? Terminen de completarla durante el fin de semana. ¿Ok? Eh, bueno, viernes, fin de semana. Y recuerden que ya para el lunes debe estar todo completo. ¿Ok? Así es que eh, seguimos la próxima semana, el lunes y martes también. Vamos a estar ese, reforzando, ¿verdad? Con los temas, vamos a, a seguir. Eh, con más contenidos y si hay dudas o preguntas eh, de esos días, ¿verdad? Viernes, fin de semana, eh, estamos en la hora, ¿ok? Recuerden que mañana no nos reunimos, mañana es libre para ustedes y les veríamos hasta la próxima. Teacher, ¿Okay? solo una pregunta. Yeah. Este, esta, ¿Esta tarea eh, la mandamos al WhatsApp del grupo? Lo pueden hasta enviar. Mañana? Ah, perdón, hasta el lunes, ¿qué? Lo pueden enviar, si gustan. No hay ningún problema. Okay. Eh, eh, bueno, con respecto al tiempo, tómense su tiempo, no se preocupen. En cuanto hayan terminado, pues, si, si gustan enviarla, lo pueden hacer. Bueno, gracias. Yeah, thank you. Ok, eh, no more questions. For the moment, no. Thanks. No, teacher. Well, guys, eh, this is all for today. Thank you for your time. I want to wish you a great weekend. Please enjoy it. Uh, have a good evening. Have a good day too. Sorry, and I will see you next Monday. Remember to complete your activities in the platform if you haven't, and we will continue this coming Monday. All right. Have a good day. Enjoy your weekend. Stay safe, and God bless you. Bye bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. See you. Bye, bye teacher. See you, Thank you. Bye, teacher. Bye -bye. Bye-bye, guys. See you soon.